Welcome back. Okay, let's do some conditionals, some easy conditionals, okay? And I have somebody who's English, cuyo inglés es muy bueno. I have somebody here whose English is bordering on perfection. And uh, she is going to help me illustrate to you the usage of the past conditional. And we have done this before, but let's do it again, okay? Mari Jesus, how are you? Fine, thanks. It's good to have you back. Thank all right. You. Ask me if I met all my grandparents. Did you meet all your grandparents? Yes, I did. Now, ask if I knew any of my great grandparents. Did you know any of your great grandparents? Good, good. Repeat, please. Could you, did, did you, you did you know any uh, of? of your great grandparents? No, I didn't. I didn't mm -hmm. know any of them. Okay. And ask me where my family is from. Where is your family from? Well. My family is from the British Isles. Mm -hmm. All of my names, Vaughn, Adams, Campbell, Crosby. One, Vaughn is from Wales. Mm -hmm. Campbell is from Scotland. True. Adams is from England. Mm -hmm. And Crosby is from Ireland. So I'm from the British right. Isles. Ask me when they crossed the Atlantic. When did they cross the Atlantic? I have no idea. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Ask me how, how far back my information goes. How far, how far back does your information go? My information goes back to uh, 1820, mm -hmm. 1820 in Missouri, mm. okay, on one part of my family. It goes back to 1820 more or less in Texas as well, mm -hmm. all right? So um, ask me what my great-great-grandfather was doing in Missouri. What was your great-great-grandfather doing in Missouri? He was a farmer. Mm -hmm. Okay, ask me if he was well off. Was he well off? Acomodado. Mm -hmm. He was not bad. It was not bad. Ask him if he had a problem. Did he have a problem? Yes, he did. Ask me what kind of problem he had. What kind of problem did he have? He suffered allergies. Oh, my. Being yeah. a farmer. <laughs> yeah, ask him, if he, ask him if he went to see a doctor about the problem. Did he go to see a doctor about the problem? Yes, he did. Ask me what the doctor recommended. What did the doctor recommend? The doctor recommended that he go to Texas. Ask me what year that was. What was that year? What year was that? What year was that? That was 1841. Mm -hmm. Ask me how old my great-great-grandfather was when he took the family to Texas. How old was your great-great-grandfather when, when he took his family to Texas? He was 45 mm -hmm. when he took the family to Texas. Ask me how many, how many members there were in the family. How many members that were there in the family? There were one, two, three, four. There were three children, the wife and the, and the husband, mm -hmm. my great-great-grandfather. <laughs> Ask me if he would have gone to Texas if he hadn't had an allergy problem. Would he have... Would he have uh, would he have uh, <laughs> Start <Well> again. <laughs> would he have gone? Would he have gone to Texas if he hadn't had the allergy? Uh, no, he would have probably stayed in Missouri. <laughs> okay. And uh, ask me where he went, where they went mm -hmm. in Texas. Where in Texas did they go? Uh, they did went to mm -hmm. Central West Texas. Okay. Central West Texas. And ask me if that area was populated at that time. Was that area populated at that time? That area was very sparsely populated. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Which is the opposite of densely populated. Mm -hmm. Barcelona city is one of the most densely populated cities in Europe. Mm -hmm. Between the ocean, with the Mediterranean Sea and, the, and Tibidabo is where the people are concentrated. And so it's a very dense population. Sparse, sparse mm -hmm. means the opposite. Muscasamente poblado, very scantily. All right, very sparsely uh, populated. And uh, ask me uh, if Texas was a state was in, 19, in 1841. Was Texas a state in 1841? No, it wasn't. Ask me if it belonged to Mexico. Did it belong to Mexico? No, te entendido. Did that... it belong to Mexico? No, it didn't. Ask me what its status was. Well, what was its it? What was its status? What was its status? <laughs> it was an independent nation. All right. Uh, did you know that Texas was an independent state? No. You didn't? I didn't. Ask me when Texas won its independence from Mexico. 
when did Texas won, oui. win, <laughs> win its independence from Mexico? It won its independence from Mexico in 1836. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the Alamo? Mm -hmm. El Alamo, you remember, okay? That mm -hmm. was one of the battles mm -hmm. of independence. Sure. And uh, Texas became an independent country. Mm -hmm. uh, ask me how long it remained an independent country. How long did it remain an independent country? For nine years. Mm -hmm. Ask me why it joined the United States. Why did it join the United States? United States. I don't really, well, several, many reasons, but I think basically they didn't want to, to be between two strong, powerful countries, the United States and Mexico. So they just, and besides, they joined the, the Union uh, in 1845. Mm -hmm. But my great-great-grandfather migrated, migro, mm -hmm. migrated from Missouri to uh, Texas while it was a still an independent country. Mm -hmm. And they settled in Comanche country. Hmm. Ask me if the Comanches were dangerous at that time. Were the Comanches dangerous at that time? Yes, they were. They were very dangerous at that time. Mm -hmm. They were very savage Indians, very dangerous. Mm -hmm. And ask me if my ancestors had problems with the Comanches. Did your ancestors have problems with the Comanches? A, l a few. Uh, Hollywood exaggerates <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> the problems. They weren't that bad. <laughs> well, they were, but they were mm. separated. I mean, it was just, mm -hmm. there was very, it was very sparsely populated. So really, the white settlers did not really bother mm -hmm. the Indians. It was It was just, okay. Plenty of room for there everyone. There was plenty <laughs> of room for everybody, usually. Mm -hmm. And um, ask me how, Ask me if my great great grandfather lived a long life. Did your great great grandfather live a long life? No, he didn't. Ask me when he died. When did he die? He died in 1847. Oh, not long after. Not long after. He was 53 or something when he mm -hmm. died. Ask me how old my great grandfather was when his father died. How old was your great great grandfather? No, your great grandfather. Oh, your great grandfather. Yes, estoy con bisabuelo. Oh, okay, touch that a <laughs> it's moving on. So, how old was your great great grandfather when his father died? Uh, he was, um, I think, about eight mm. or nine years old, quite young. Mm. But he was the oldest boy in the family. The family mm. was young. Yes. And. Um, no, he wasn't. Yes, he was the oldest. So he, I think he was 10 or 11. There were several children, three or mm -hmm. four. And ask me where they lived during that period. Where did they live during that period? Uh, they lived in a town called Oatmeal. Oatmeal. Yeah, <laughs> do you know what oatmeal means in English? Un molino de avena. <laughs> Mil, no, meal. Ah. Escrito meal. Como ah, una comida. yeah, it's una papilla, no? Yeah, de avena. <laughs> or it means um, oatmeal uh -huh. means um, maiz, ma maicena. Mm -hmm. Or it's something, mm -hmm. it's, it's um, really, it's like harina de maiz. Mm -hmm. It's oatmeal. Mm -hmm. But right. oat is avena, isn't it? Ah, perdona, de avena. All right. No, de avena. All right, I'm all right. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Good. oatmeal. Ask me if oatmeal still exists. Does oatmeal still exist? Yes, it does. Ask me mm -hmm. what the population of oatmeal is. What's the population of oatmeal? The population is about 100 people. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ask me if I go to oatmeal very often. Do you go to oatmeal very often? Once in a while, maybe once every five years. Mm -hmm. Ask me why I go. Why do you go there? To see one of the oldest cemeteries in Texas. Mm -hmm. Ask me if my great-great-grandfather is buried there. Is your great-great-grandfather buried there? Yeah, he's mm -hmm. buried there. Okay, and I've seen That's a very nice. old cemetery. Uh -huh. All right. Interesting. Now, uh, ask me uh, if my great grandfather was involved in the Civil War. Was your great grandfather involved in the Civil War? Yes, he was. Mm. Ask me where he fought. Where did he fight? He fought on the Texas coast in the Battle of Galveston. All hmm. right. Ask me what rank he reached. What rank does, did he reach? He became a captain. He reached oh, the rank of captain. Ask me how old he was when he was discharged from the army. How old was he when he was discharged from the army? He was 23, very young. Oh my. But he really wasn't discharged because he was a member of the Confederate Army mm -hmm. and it simply disbanded. Do you understand? Mm, sort of well, disbanded. 
All right, to disband means they're together, como banda, mm -hmm. Say, mm -hmm. como pandilla, panda, banda. Yeah. Okay, and they disband. They just yeah. disperse. Mm -hmm. You understand? They're scattered. <laughs> well, scat not necessarily scattered. Well, they scattered just, they just like went home. They, wish. they went home. I uh -huh, understand. Okay, ask me when the Civil War ended. When did the Civil War end? It ended in 1865. Mm -hmm. Ask me who surrendered to Grant. Who did sur who surrendered to Grant? I'm Lee. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Robert E. Lee surrendered mm -hmm. to Grant. Mm -hmm. Ask me if the terms of surrender were benevolent. Were the terms of surrender benevolent? Yes, they were. Very benevolent. In Appomattox, Virginia, a town in Virginia, in 1865, Ulysses Grant, the future president, mm -hmm. and Robert E. Lee, the famous general of the South, had a meeting. Mm -hmm. And they decided together to bring the war to a conclusion, okay? And they both respected each other because they had been soldiers together before, you understand? Uh-huh, before the war, you mean? Well, of course, both were gra had graduated from West Point. Uh-huh. You understand, from the yes. same military academy. This is a civil war. Uh-huh. And Robert E. Lee was a very respected general. Ulysses Grant was not, had not, he was after the war, of course, but not before. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was not famous, but Robert E. Lee made some requests, and uh, he said, if it's, if it's not too much of a problem, I would appreciate it if the soldiers could keep their horses. They need to go back to their farms mm. in the South, and they will need their horses for working on the farm. Mm -hmm. And Grant said, no problem. He also said, they will need to take their firearms back because they need to hunt. Mm -hmm. Many of them need to hunt rabbits and birds. And Grant said, no problem. So really, it was a very benevolent. Yeah. There, there was no bad feelings at the end of the war. Ask me how many people were killed during the Civil War. How many people were killed during the Civil War? 600,000. <sighs> Ask me how many Americans were killed in the Second World War. How many Americans were killed during the Second World War? 250,000. Mm -hmm. uh, the Civil War uh, is the war in which more Americans were killed than any in the history of. Mm -hmm. It was a very hard war. But it wasn't a hard war for political reasons. It was simply fighting, a lot of fighting. Okay? Mm -hmm. But they didn't dislike each other. It was strange. Yeah. There was no ideological question here. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. It's not like the Civil War in Spain or Civil Wars in other countries where often there's an ideological question. Yes. All right? There it was simply an economic question. Mm -hmm. Not really slavery. It was simply an economic question. The, the type of state, to be a federal state or to be where it was centralized government or state, separate state governments. Mm -hmm. It was a question of autonomias. Okay? Yeah, true. <laughs> you know? That was the Very question. Very modern question. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And so my great-grandfather... Uh, was discharged or left when he was 23 and went back to Central Texas. All right, ask me what he did after that. What did he do after that? He's opened a general store. Mm -hmm. A general store was a place where you can buy anything. Well, microphones, no. But you can <laughs> buy, you can mm -hmm. buy ceramic cups or you can buy books. You can buy pencils, not pens. I think mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Plumas. You know, you can yeah. anything, anything or. Uh, <clears throat> things for your wagon and ask me how long he had that store. How long did he have the, that store? The rest of his life. Mm -hmm. All right. Ask me if he became wealthy. Did he become wealthy? Uh, not real. Well, he became wealthy in land. Mm -hmm. uh, ask me if he owned a lot of land. Did he own a, lo a lot of land? Yes, he did. Ask me why. Why did he own a lot of land? Uh, because land was free. Nobody owned it mm. at that time, <laughs> except the Comanches, of course. <laughs> True. So he, no, he, uh, he bought a lot of land, too. Uh, ask me if he founded a town. Did he found a town? Yes, he did. Ask me if the name of the town is my name. Is the name of the town your name? No, it's not. The mm -hmm. main street is my name. Mm-hmm in the town, but not ask me how many people there are in that town. How many people are there in that town? About a thousand people. About. Ask me what the name of the town is. What's the name of the town? The name of the town is Bertram. 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 Ask me why it's called Bertram. Why is it called Bertram? Uh, because that was the name of the 
Texas Railroad Commissioner, mm -hmm. the man in charge of the railroads in Texas. Okay. Ask me why my great grandfather decided to name that town after the railroad commissioner. Why did your great -gran great grandfather decide to name the town after the rail railway commissioner? Okay, or railroad, mm, railway, right, railroad, 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 mm -hmm. uh, because he reached an agreement with him. Mm -hmm. Ask you what kind of agreement they reached. What kind of agreement did he reach? Did they reach? Did they reach? Yeah. Uh, my great grandfather knew perfectly uh, that the government of Texas was planning to build a railroad that would pass through the general area near his store. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so he wanted the railroad to go through next to his store. It creates much better for the business. Mm -hmm. And the uh, so he spoke to the railroad commissioner, and he said, if you root in Rutar, if mm -hmm. you root the railroad through this area, I will create, I will incorporate a town and we will call it Bertram. Mm -hmm. That was his name. The name of the railroad commissioner was Bert Mr. Hiram Bertram. Mm -hmm. And he said, okay. Asked me where the railroad was going. Where was the railroad, railroad, railroad going? <laughs> it was going to, to Marble Falls. Uh -huh. Cataratas de Marmol. Mm -hmm. Okay, ask me if there's a lot of marble in that area. Is there a lot of marble in that area? No, there isn't. There isn't any. So why? Ask me why it was called Marble Falls. Why was it called Marble Falls? Me gusta más nitidez en la pregunta. Why, why, is why it, was it? Why was it called Marble Falls? Called. Called Marble Falls. I don't know. Uh, it's next to um, a very famous mountain called Granite Mountain. It's pure granite. Mm -hmm. And the railroad was being built there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now ask me why they wanted to build a railroad to that mountain. It was not a railroad for passengers. It was a railroad for granite. Mm -hmm. Every car on the railroad, was on carrying. the train, was carrying granite. Mm -hmm. Ask me why. Ask me why they built a, a railroad only for transporting granite. Why did they build a railroad just for transporting granite? Okay, I'm exaggerating. It also included <laughs> passengers, but it stopped at Marble Falls. Mm -hmm. It was not a rail, it, the idea was not to take passengers to El Paso or to Santa Fe. Mm -hmm. No, that was a secondary effect, yeah. <laughs> a side yeah. effect. <laughs> All right, because uh, they needed to build, they needed the granite for two things that they wanted to build that required a lot of granite. Mm -hmm. Ask me what they were planning to build. What were they planning to build? They were planning to build the Capitol building in Austin, Texas, mm -hmm. which is similar to the Capitol, uh, Capitolio in Washington. It's very big, very mm -hmm. beautiful. And the Galveston Seawall. All right. Mm -hmm. Do you wonder, in Galveston, it's located on the Gulf of Mexico. Mm -hmm. And the hurricanes that came in from the Gulf of Mexico often killed 2,000 people in one night. <sighs> yeah. Mm -hmm. In fact, in, in 1901, or 1900, no, the year 1900, 6,000 people were killed in five hours five because hours. of a hurricane, yeah, like Katrina, you understand? Yeah, yeah, I understand, yeah. And so they built a seawall. Mm -hmm. To protect the, the, the area. Yeah, mm -hmm. ask me how high the seawall is. How high, how high is the seawall? It's about five meters. It's very high. Mm -hmm. Ask me how thick it is. How thick is that? Is it's about a meter and a half or mm -hmm. two meters thick. Ask me how long it is. How long is it? About 10 kilometers. Ooh. It's a lot of granite. It is a lot, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's all from that mountain. Mm-hmm. All right. Ask me what color the granite is. What's the color of the granite? It's red. Red granite? Yeah. Mm. Well, mm. reddish. Mm-hmm. How do you say Orange. rojizo, color rojizo? See, si. reddish. Reddish. Mm -hmm. Okay. Reddish pink. Reddish pink. All right. It's quite pretty. It's mm -hmm. very pretty. Mm -hmm. All right. Ask me my parents' tombstones are made of that granite. Are your parents' tombstone, tombstones made mm -hmm. of that granite? Yes, they're mm -hmm. made of that granite too. Mm -hmm. It's expensive, but it's a very good granite. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my great-grandfather, ask me when he died. When did your great-grandfather died? Die. <laughs> Could you say the sentence again? Yeah, when did your great well, it was your great grandfather, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. When was your great grandfather? When did? When did your great grandfather die? 
Uh, he died in uh, 1913. Mm -hmm. Ask me if my father knew him. Did your father know him? No, he didn't. Ask me why. Why didn't your father know him? My father was born in 1923, 10 years later. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ask me how many children my great-grandfather had. How many children did your great-grandfather have? He had seven children. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the first five were girls. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they were born between 1870 mm -hmm. or 1865. No, 1870 and 1885. Mm -hmm. And he had five consecutive girls. <laughs> All right. Then he had two boys in 1891 and 1893. Okay. Ask you which one was my grandfather. Which one was your grandfather? Father. The one born in the first, in mm -hmm. 1891. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ask me where he was born. Where was he born? He was born in Bertram. Mm -hmm. Okay, Bertram, Texas. And ask me where he studied. When did he study? Where? Where did he study? He studied in Galveston, mm -hmm. next to the coast. Ask me what he studied. Where did he study? He studied medicine. Mm -hmm. All right. And ask me uh, when he finished his studies. When did he finish his studies? He finished his studies in 1913 when his father died. Mm -hmm. Okay, in 1913. Mm -hmm. And uh, ask me when he started practicing medicine. When did he start? When did he? When did he start practicing medicine? Medicine. He started practicing medicine right away. Mm -hmm. But in Galveston, okay, in the emergency, he worked on an ambulance. All right. Yeah, he was an emergency doctor in Galveston in an ambulance. Ask me what he said. That was in 1914. Mm -hmm. Ask me what he said about that job. What he said about that Ask job? Ask me what mm. he said about that job. <laughs> what did he say about that job? It's funny because he said there's nothing more dangerous than riding on an ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite and that, dangerous, that was eh? in 1913, you know? Uh -huh. Okay, he said there's nothing more dangerous, okay, right. than riding on an ambulance. Uh, ask me how long he lived in Galveston. How long did he live in Galveston? I think for only one or two years. Mm. Ask me why he didn't stay there any longer. Why didn't he stay any longer there? Because the war broke out. Mm. Ask me what war broke out. What war broke out? The First World War. Mm -hmm. Ask me if he was sent to Europe. Was he sent to Europe? No, he wasn't. Ask me where he was sent. Where was, he, where was he sent? He was sent to the border with Mexico. Mm -hmm. Ask me why he was sent to the border with Mexico. Why was he sent to the border with Mexico? Because Mexico declared war on the United States. Mm -hmm. Did you know? Yeah. You knew that. In the yes, first, I mean, most people don't. Mm -hmm. In the First World War, Mexico sided with Germany, mm -hmm. with the Germany and Austro-Hungarian Empire, mm -hmm. Austria and Mexico. Mm -hmm. And so my grandfather, was stationed in Brownsville, mm -hmm. Brownsville, Texas. My grandfather was stationed. Se dice en inglés estacionado cuando es destinado militarmente. Mm. You understand? Yeah. Un destino. He was his station. He was stationed in Brownsville. Ask me what Mexican city is across the river from Brownsville. What Mexican city is across the, the river. river from Brownsville. Brownsville. Sí, el apellido del señor Brown. Sí, el sí. Moreno. <laughs> yeah, Villa <think> Morena. <laughs> <laughs> Brownsville, Matamoros. Matamoros. Uh -huh. Matamoros. Matamoros. <laughs> Matamoros. Ask me if I have ever been to Matamoros. Have you ever been to Matamoros? Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. Just once. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ask me if the people realize what that name means. Do people realize what that name means? Well, of course, the people, the Anglo-Saxon people in Texas have no idea uh -huh. that Matamoros, mm -hmm. Matamoros, Matamoros, Matamoros means kill <laughs> Moors, okay? <laughs> they have no idea. But just, if you go, mm -hmm. if you see the Rio Grande River, mm -hmm. se dice en inglés Rio Grande River, que es mm -hmm. redundante, sí. el Rio Rio Grande, you understand? <laughs> yeah. The Rio Grande River. It, uh, the mouth of the Rio Grande River is in the Gulf of Mexico, mm -hmm. and that separates Texas from Mexico. Mm -hmm. And right at the mouth, you have Brownsville on one side and Matamoros on the other. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting area. And uh, that's where he was stationed. But I can't tell you the rest of the story, because the rest of the story is interesting. Mm. Reaching my father, too, okay? Mm -hmm. But maybe another day. I can't finish the story, but I will another day, probably because I'm planning to be with you for the next 10 years, so I will have plenty of time. Tengo tiempo de sobra para contaros 
de tout. Plenty of time. I'll be back in five minutes, okay, for the last half hour of Vagua Vivo. <laughs>